Bienvenue, mesdames et messieurs. Welcome, Yokoso, to the WCS Canadian Preliminaries. Bienvenue au Preliminaire Canadien du WCS. How's everybody doing this morning? Perfect. Um, I wanted to let you know a little bit more about what is the World Cosplay Summit. It is held in Nagoya, Japan. It's an annual cosplay event and it's promoting friendly international exchange through Japanese pop culture. Alors le WCS, c'est un événement annuel qui a lieu au Japon. Et le but est de promouvoir euh, tout ce qui est euh, la culture japonaise de manière amicale et internationalement parlant, en invitant des gens de partout dans le monde. Et c'est vraiment intéressant parce que ça a commencé en 2023, so it started in 2003, and in the past, 21 years, it is now up to 36 countries and regions. Il y a maintenant 36 pays et régions qui participent au WCS, dont le Canada, including Canada. Et cette année, this year, we are joined by the Czech Republic, the uh, Costa Rica, and Mongolia as the new countries. Canada brought WCS, uh, we brought Canada to WCS in 2014, allowing for Canadian cosplay to shine on an international stage, and it was crazy, so much so that we decided to do it again, and 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 again. All right. So, um, about 8.5 hours ago, four hours, well, last night is Japan time, Yesterday, August 3rd. Uh, 36 teams from all around the world. Il y a quelques, il y a quelques temps maintenant, il y a 36 équipes ce week-end qui ont compétitionné pour déterminer le grand champion de cosplay international du monde. Et on va revenir là-dessus un petit peu plus tard. Mais, sans trop vous niaiser, we're going to show you a little bit of what happened at the WCS. On the screen behind me. Simples. You're great. 
Thank you. <laughs> Each team will be consisting of two participants, no more, no less. Costumes will have to be constructed by the participants and be from a Japanese anime, manga, video game, or tokusatsu. Donc ça doit être des équipes de deux participants, pas plus ni moins. Et les costumes doivent être fabriqués par les participants aussi et doivent provenir d'une identité japonaise telle qu'un manga, un anime, un jeu vidéo ou un tokusatsu. Each team will have 2.5 minutes on stage. Chaque équipe va avoir 2 minutes 30 secondes sur la scène afin de produire leur incroyable sketch talentueux que vous allez voir aujourd'hui. Et les équipes vont être jugées non seulement pour leur costume, mais aussi pour leur performance sur scène. Judge, judges will be judging the teams on not only the quality of the costumes, but also the stage performance. There's a bunch of other details, but these are the big things. Ça, c'est les grandes règles. Grandes Tout le monde a compris? Everybody got that? All right. Vous avez vu le vidéo? Vous savez que ça a lieu à euh, Nagoya, Japan, et que, dans le fond, les équipes qui sont en compétition aujourd'hui, le font pour la chance d'aller représenter le Canada l'an prochain au World Cosplay Summit à Nagoya. Teams that are competing today are competing for the chance to represent Canada in the World Cosplay Summit next year. All right, no cell phone, no flash photography, we got a message, everybody's happy. Ladies and gentlemen, please let me introduce the judges for today's competition. Our first judge today, Ariza! We're just showing them off to you. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the judges during the, uh, the show. Thank you so much, Ariza. Our next judge today, Ely Cosplay. Notre prochain juge, Melting Mirror. Et finalement, quelqu'un qui est très près, très près de notre cœur ici au WCS, Dark Carnival Butler. Mesdames et Messieurs, nous allons maintenant commencer cette compétition sans plus tarder et euh, j'espère que tout va bien se dérouler autant pour nous que pour vous et que tout le monde va avoir du plaisir et de la joie et que peu importe ce qui se passe, on va continuer à avoir du plaisir! Let us begin this competition with... Arctic Silk. Team Arctic Silk is made up of a duo of Ottawa-based, sparkle-loving friends. The silken princess of the duo, Symphony and Silk, has a passion for large, sparkly, and floofy designs with intricate techniques. She's the organized and perfect planner left brain of the duo. Arctic cryptid of the pair, Arctic werewolf, who has an eye for the fun details and design. She's the messy, paint splattered and whimsical right brain of the two. Together, they are a complete team of creativity and engineering with amazing designs, sewing and technical skills. Alongside having a love for dramatic flair, on stage, they combine their creativity and craftsmanship together to make skits that will make you laugh and even suffer some emotional damage, you've been warned. Featuring Arctic Werewolf cosplay as Inuyasha and Symphony and Silk cosplay as Kikyo from Inuyasha, please welcome Arctic Cosplay! It was a love story. Me? Become a human? It's possible. If the sacred jewel were used to turn you into a human, it would be purified. 
The jewel of the four souls would probably cease to exist. What would happen to you? My duty is to protect the jewel. Without it, I could live the life of an ordinary woman. I swear I'm not just saying this. I will become a human. That won't happen. I'll never allow it. Yasha, you traitor! Traitor! Kikyo, what are you doing? Oh, I see. Fine then. I'll just take the jewel for myself. The village! Oh, Ian Yasha, how could you? Finally, a way for me to become all demon at last! But it was a love story, a tragic one, which would begin again 500 years later when I fell into the sacred well at my family shrine. Stumbling through the woods, I saw Inuyasha for the very first time. I didn't know what had happened between him and Kikyo 50 years ago, but our story was with the girl who overcame time and the boy who was just overcome. Notre seconde équipe participante, Bite Me, our second participating team this year. Bite Me. Bite Props is a dedicated cosplayer known for her talent in crafting lead 3D props. Inspired by prominent figures in the community, she embarked on her cosplay journey in 2019, exploring various media genres such as anime, TV series, and games. With excitement and determination, Bite Props eagerly anticipates the friendship and opportunities that lie ahead on her creative journey. With an unwavering passion for video games, anime, and fantasy, Kenzumi draws inspiration from these realms to create captivating and immersive cosplay experience. Her commitment to craftsmanship goes hand in hand with her advocacy for sustainable cosplay practices, as she actively promotes the reduction of waste and impart valuable lessons on ecological sustainability within the cosplay community. <laughs> Featuring Kenzumi as Edelgard and Bike Props as Seros, from Fire Emblem Three Houses, please welcome Back Me to the stage. When humanity stays strong and people reach out for each other, there's no need for gods. Never mind imitations like you, Saint Saros. 
I cannot permit you to live any longer. Rip your heart out from your chest myself! I don't advise presumptions, Rhea. I will not die by your hands. Pathetic. I will ensure that you pay for your sins. Torment. Have you eternally walk until the skin rots from your bones? Rhea, your reign of tyranny is over. A new dawn rises for the Empire. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up once again for Kenzumi and Team Fight Me. Now, before I go ahead and introduce our third team, our third uh, team competing today, I want to tell you a little bit about our judges. Ariza is an award-winning cosplayer from Chile that brings to life impressive cosplay works in using innovative materials such as refre reflective fabric, LED lights, and electronics. By sharing the process of the making of her costume, she aims to help and inspire other cosplayers to improve and try new techniques. She has won awards in an international cosplay competition such as World Cosplay Summit and Polymanga Global Easter Cosplay. Congratulations, and thank you so much for being with us, Eriza. And Ely Cosplay. He is a Costa Rican cosplayer with 10 years of experience, representing Costa Rica at WCS Japan in 2019. Ely moved to Toronto a year and a half ago. Welcome to Canada. And he has participated in and judged multiple cosplay competitions representing his own country in Saudi Arabia in 2022. Ellie is best known for his Ciel cosplay and his, special, his specialty is Victorian costumes. Everything related to laces drive him crazy. I have to keep this show proper. Our third team today, the Starkin, is a Montreal-based duo who got Woo! together for their love costume. Backgrounds in fashion and costume design, they both have a passion for needlework and outstanding craftsmanship. While Pitzitlun loves to elaborate on emotional presentations, Emily is a master in their discipline. Both in sewing and prop making, together they are aiming to bring amazing performances that are going to both impress and touch the public. Featuring Petit Luna Sakura and Emily Gauvin creation as you from Sakura Card Capture, please welcome to the stage the Starkin. You, I have made preparations. A new person will be taking care of you and Carol. No, that can't be. I refuse to take on a new master. Then you shall pass judgment. Finally meet the candidate chosen by tarot bearers. Before you are all the cards you capture. You must now use them to defeat me. Defeat you? But you kicked up. Come to me. I've got to do something. Use a card that will finish this without hurting him. I've got it. What? Fool. Wood is one of the cards controlled by the moon. The rightful candidate would have known that. The judgment is over. This chapter will now be erased from your life. 
and you shall forget everything and everyone. No, I can't. I can't let that happen. Sakura! 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 The cloak eyes brought us all together, and I won't let you take that away! What is this? A new power? Really? The cards. They chose her. The final judgment is over. I recognize you, Sakura, as my new master. I want to be your friend. Starkin team presented something from Sakura Card Capture. Ça va vous? C'est chaud un peu, n'est-ce pas? Est-ce que vous reconnaissez ce logo? C'est le logo de Team Pasque. Je sais, à quel, non mais je sais à quel point vous voulez les voir. Cette année, ils ont décidé de prendre congé, mais vous pouvez les encourager quand même à revenir l'an prochain. Oui. C'est bon les filles, j'ai fait ma job. Je ne pas qu'on vous, vous sponsorise pour l'année prochaine. Okay. Starbucks, Starbucks, Starbucks. Bon, parfait. Alors, euh, vous allez pouvoir aller les voir. Euh, je sais qu'ils sont dans la salle marchande. Si vous voulez de la marchandise de Team Paseke, euh, parce que euh, c'est euh, votre chance d'aller les rencontrer. Notre prochaine équipe, l'équipe numéro 4, Dragon Moth. Depuis 10 ans déjà, Lady Moon Moth et Daragon accumulent des costumes complexes et explorent les différentes avenues que le cosplay a à offrir. Passionnés de l'histoire du costume, les deux cosplayeuses n'hésitent pas à intégrer de la véracité historique à leur création, que ce soit des culottes à pont jusqu'au corset victorien. Lady Moon Mott se spécialise en couture, cherchant toujours à rajouter le détail qui fera briller sa maîtrise du filet de l'aiguille, allant même à tricoter ses propres bas pour, pour ses cosplays. Daragon touche à tout, préfère explorer de nouvelles techniques avec chaque costume et découvrir de nouvelles matières. Présentant Daragon en tant que Robbie, Genius Eccentric, et Lady Moon Mutt en tant que Pura, Eccentric Genius, from Hero Warrior, Age of Calamity, welcome to the stage, Dragon Mutt! Again. <coughs> Me? I was just experimenting with some ancient um, pencils. <laughs> But I was on the verge of finishing a new weapon. Wanna help me out? A new weapon? Oh yeah! Oh yes, this will do nicely. Uh, oh, oh, this! What about a coil? Or the spring? Oh, yes! And maybe this! I think we're only missing... an ancient core! Here she is! Oh, isn't she beautiful? She's powered by not one, but two very large ancient cores. My best creation yet. And have you seen the blade? Specifically created with what our ingenious ancestors left us of shaky technology. I was able to. What was that? A guardian in our lab? Oh, time to put this baby to the test. 
Inviting the audience to witness the magic that unfolds when passion meets precision. CJ has graced the masquerade stage throughout the region. Each masterfully crafted costume is a testament to their ingenuity and dedication to the craft. Jackie strives to be a visual storyteller while capturing the essence of characters through her cosplay creations and photography portfolio. Appreciate as Lady Dimitris and Go Beyond Cosplay as Bella Dimitris from Resident Evil Village. Please welcome Anxiety to the stage. WCS is a focal celebration of that continually evolving contemporary pop culture of Japanese manga, anime, game, and related content loved by cosplayers and fans worldwide. That means you! Our sixth team, 
A team spending coast to coast, east to west, Kiki's cosplay, service and service cosplay have almost two decades of cos collective cosplay experience shared in between the two of them. Cerberus is taking her experience of pretending to be a hot anime man on the internet and her years of crafting experience to combine them into one performance. Meanwhile, Kiki uses his year of high school theater to master the art of playing the damsel in distress. Now, with a need, no need to further their craft, both cosplayers find themselves 10 pages deep in a Google search researching the stitching of historical Chinese undergarments. And that's in their spare time. <laughs> Not really, ask them. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, featuring Cerberus as Jinji and Kiki's cosplay service as Mao Mao from The Apothecary Diaries, please welcome Team Aphrodite. I can't believe I let Lady Gyo kill and the other ladies in the waiting corner me. I feel so naked about my freckles. Well, there's no helping him now. I'll just have to set up the courtyard for the garden party and head back. And if I have extra time, I can try out that new pufferfish poison I just got. Oh, princess, are you having troubles? Uh, Master Jinchi, what is he doing here? Princess? Oh no, do not worry yourself with me, Master Jinchi. Are you sure? Such a fair maiden as yourself shouldn't have to bury yourself with such simple work. Does he not recognize me without my freckles? I am but a lowly servant. You do not need to trouble yourself with me. It is no trouble at all. It would be my honor to help a beautiful woman like yourself. Master Jinchi, I appreciate the offer, but this is my job. No need to dirty your hands with such a lowly task. Just tell me what to do and I'll do so. Really, there's no need. Now, if you'll excuse me while I... <laughs> be careful. You don't want to break anything. Thank you. If you really want to help, you can start by organizing the flowers in this phase. Of course. Anything for you. You can start by framing the orchids with the lilies. These? Yes. Frame them. Don't cover. And absolutely do not overload on the peonies. Even just one too many and you'll ruin the entire bouquet. Less is more. And if you- Mama! <laughs> Yes. Oh, I'm glad. I can't have my apothecary getting hurt. I just can't believe it took you that long to recognize me. Like I wouldn't recognize those brilliant eyes anywhere. I think you would be sick. Hello, where are you? Lady Gyokyo is calling me. I have to go. Wait! You dropped this. Mau Mau? A lady in waiting shouldn't leave her lady waiting. Yeah. Wait! The vase! Oh, what about it? When they find it broken. No one will say anything when they find out I broke it. général du WCS est de créer des liens d'amitié globale et en se faisant de faire fi de tous les obstacles, que ce soit les frontières, la culture, les traditions, le langage et tout ça, on veut les partager à travers l'amitié et c'est pour ça que vous avez vu tout à l'heure dans la petite vidéo de présentation au début qu'il y avait tellement de, de liens qui se créaient, les cosplayers sont très proches au WCS et c'est ça crée des amitiés pour la vie. Team number 7. Once Salty Sketches cut into her first form sheet and made a chest plate, she knew she was booked for life. She loves prototyping armor and over-the-top pieces. Detailing and painting and foam shifting is her specialty. She is forcing herself to work with more textile to expand her skill set so she can make bigger, better cosplays. As for Sammy V, as much as she likes foam armor, she's much rather, she'd much rather be working on a sewing project with 3D printed props. She loves gravity-defying goofy dresses, magical girls, and cutesy characters. 
hope it roughly translates to complementary, and as you might have guessed by now, they complement each other's skills pretty well. Sammy V cosplay as Aru and Salty sketches as Milady from Persona 5. Please welcome Oaken Girls to the stage. I can't introduce her to my father. Wait. Unless you make some father. compromises. Take her as your lover what? or whatever you desire. No. I'll play with you until I get bored. So vulgar. How dare you. I see you finally made up your mind, my dear fated princess. Freedom for you must stem from betrayal. If you still yearn for it now, then you must not err. Now tell me, who shall you betray? My heart has been set. You should know. Yes, that gaze. I can finally display my true strength. Let us adorn your departure into freedom with a beautiful betrayal. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chain of captivity. With the birth of the Empress persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Farewell, dear father. I am no longer your so It's showtime. That's so weird. You're worthless. Sugimura. Deal with her too much. You poor thing. I'll toy with you until you break. sentiment of the creation. All, all the participating uh, people in the WCS pledge to maintain a deep respect to creators, stand with them in expression, and further promote cultural development. And if you want to see how much, check out the World Cosplay Summit um, YouTube channel, because two days ago they were doing something at the Oasis, and I just want to say, Domo arigato. Toriyama-san, uh, we lost someone extremely great this year, and uh, yeah, just go watch, I can't talk about it anymore. <sighs> Alright, Hokkaido Milk Tea Cosplay is a team filled with energy, determination, and you guessed it, milk tea. Combined, Jesse and Lindsay have over four decades of cosplay experience, and each has a unique perspective of set of skills that complements one another perfectly. By day, they run a boutique anime shop in downtown Belleville, Ontario. By night, they feverishly work to complete their latest creations. With their powers combined, they, there is nothing they can't achieve. Featuring egg glasses as San and Ochika as Lady Eboshi from Princess Mononoke, please welcome the Tiger Milk Tea Cosplay. the forest. Ah, oh, it stinks of them. Hmm, the wolves are on the hunt. Girl, 
Dawn, daughter of the Wolf Tribe. Are you okay? We heard gunfire! I'm alright. Just keep going. I'll be right there. We need to get these supplies to the village before the wolves get here. Good! Go! Get out of the forest and don't come back! Number nine, I would like to introduce one of our, uh, to describe a little bit further, one of our judges, Melting Mirror. She's been cosplaying for 20 years and has been judging cosplay across, contests across Canada and the US for more than a decade. She has a passion for couture design and sparkly things, and her costumes have been featured in magazines as such as Cosmodome and on websites as such as Kotaku. Congratulations and thank you so much for being with us today. Team number nine, Team Milligan, was born from an impulsive need to participate in WCS. Apparently, they came with their fans. After watching the 2022 competition, they quickly realized that their skills complete one another, and from sewing to wig styling, EVA foam work, and more, with quite a few years of cosplay under their belt and experience in the masquerade circuit, they, they're ready for the next phase. Featuring Morrigan cosplay as Grandma Mare and Maki Milnuage as Fujimoto from Ponyo. Welcome Team Milligan to the stage. No, no, wait. Wait. Yes. No, she won't listen. It won't work! It's a disaster! The water is rising and the land vanishes! Ponyo will bring this world to an end! Chaos. She doesn't understand what she's done. If we don't stop her, the planet is doomed. But darling, would it be that terrible if Ponyo became human? What? If the boy love is real, she'll lose her power forever. But if not, she'll turn into sea foam, binding the fate of all who dwell beneath the wave and upon the shore. Behold, these are the rules of sea and land. My darling, don't despair. We must have faith in our daughter. She will know how to restore balance. Come now, my dear. Let's see what those children are up to. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 
Milligan. Am I the only one who's craving uh, ham ramen suddenly? <laughs> hey, um. The uh, last judge that we introduced today, Dark Carnival Butler, is a master cosplayer from Quebec City. She's been cosplaying for 13 years now, and she was part of the World Cosplay Summit, very first Canadian team to compete in 2016 in the WCS. Since then, she hasn't been sitting on her laurels. No, 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 no. She's been uh, participating in tons of masquerade. She uh, is also very proud to be an official influencer for Cosplay Fabric and an ambassador for Red Moon Cosplay Solutions. Her personal motto is, dream, believe, and keep on cosplaying. Thank you so much for being with us today. Our next team, they are originally from Nova Scotia. The Toonies have built their decade-long friendship through their passion for cosplay, crafting, and of course, shenanigans. Ladies and gentlemen, Howling Shupuf and Trash Gang Zan as Shockable Keepers from Final Fantasy XIV. Please welcome the Toonie. as elusive as the treasure of Oak Island. Um, we would like to congratulate this, this year's winners of the WCS. Uh, that happened a few uh, hours slash days-ish ago. Um, in third place came Germany with an excellent skit from Monster Hunter Double Cross. In second place was Sweden with an amazing Totoro. And in first place, I don't know if you've seen it, 
But if you haven't, I highly recommend you go see it because that was an incredible skit and wow, the ideas, right, judges? <laughs> Even I'm getting some by, from that sketch. It was Japan with sketch from Naruto. Very well deserved win, honestly. Um, yeah, it was masterful. Our next team, Kinerai and Pastel Pink, they first met when they were joined by the idol group Irish Idols in 2021. They soon became friends, bonding over their love for idols, shiny costumes, and cats. Since they were both participating in cosplay masquerades, they eventually began doing projects together. Pastel Pink loves to do head sewing and is very meticulous about the details in her work. She is very good at managing her time. Kinerai is more oriented towards making intricate props and accessories. And her work methods are a bit more chaotic. As a team, they complement each other very well and their various talents. So Pastel Pink can keep Kinerai in check to make sure that she doesn't finish too last minute. Ladies and gentlemen, featuring Pastel Pink Cosplay as Anne Halford and Kinerai as Chale Fen Chale from Sugar Apple Fairy Tale, welcome Usakama to the stage. Mama, it's finally time for me to follow in your footsteps and start my journey to become a Silver Sugar Master. I promise to make you proud and honor your memory. The animal contest is starting soon, and the route will be dangerous to get there. I don't like the idea of buying a living being, but I need to find a warrior fairy to keep me safe along the way, since I am all alone now. We have to hurry and get ready to leave tomorrow. The journey to the city is long, and we can't waste any time if we want to make it before the contest deadline. Is that an order? An order? If you want to order me around, you'll need to do it properly. I don't want to cause you any pain. Crushing a fairy's wing is a barbaric method. If possible, I would like us to be equals. Or even friends. How can we be friends if you have my wing around your neck? Let's make a deal then. If you keep me safe until we reach the city, I'll give you back your wing and you'll be free. <laughs> Pretty generous for a human. Uh, anyways, I need to finish my silver sugar sculpture before wrapping up for the night. <sighs> I think this is my best work yet. Not bad for a scarecrow. My name is Anne! Anne! Hm. But, thank you. We have a long journey ahead, so I'll get some sleep. I know fairies don't need to rest, but I do. How can she be so carefree? She was a lie when she says she needed someone to protect her. She's uh, definitely very unique <laughs> in her own way. Starbucks for everyone. 
All right, team number 12, Scout and Sarah met at college in 2016. Where they suffered through enough that they are now inseparable. The name Shin Goku was taken from their favorite cosplay duo, Shinobu and Rengoku from Demon Slayer. Since meeting, they have attended many conventions together. Their favorite duo activity includes eating chocolate and singing alongs badly on road trips. Featuring Bankfar as Rail Sutcliffe and Ara Yuna as Madam Rat from Back Black Butler. Welcome to Shin Goku. decided to challenge themselves to the stage. CNR cosplay will be Robbie and Autumn's cosplay will be Pura from Hero Warriors Age of Calamity. Ladies and gentlemen, Timotoria! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, it's nothing bad. Robbie's new goggle invention has just been driving me a little crazy lately. Like, seriously. We should show him that he's not as clever as he thinks he is. Back to Robbie. You know what to do. Go, go. And here's another thing with these amazing goggles I made. They let you see energy beyond the scope of visible light. 
but that's just what you'd expect from the greatest researcher in Hyrule. Oh yeah! Wow, those do sound amazing. With that, I'm surprised you haven't solved your little ghost problem yet. Well, I'm sure I would have if... Uh, wait, uh, what ghost problem? Wait, <laughs> you don't know? Long ago, this lab belongs to a genius researcher who died here before completing his greatest work. Now he haunts the lab, attacking anyone who finishes inventions where he could not. Well, uh, I wish any ghost good luck sneaking up on me. Yeah, you're probably fine. I think there's a book about ghosts up on that shelf there, if you mean. See ya! While I appreciate your worry for me, I can assure you that I... <laughs> It would seem the bookshelf fell down. Nothing to worry about. Then why do you look so... tense? Oh, shh. My ears hear something. I think something is in here. Huh? What you see in there? Ah. Do you think it might have been the ghost? Oh, please. I am a man of science. Even if ghosts are real, they would never... Oh, no! We do not need to work in a ghost-infested <laughs> laboratory. <laughs> Great work, little guy. All right. We should go get Robbie before he shuts this place down. Et maintenant, notre dernière équipe de participants pour cette incroyable édition 2024 des préliminaires canadiennes du WCS, our last team for this year's WCS Canadian Preliminaries 2024. Team number 14, équipe numéro 14. Deux charmantes demoiselles s'étant rencontrées au collège pour leur amour de la confection. C'est ainsi que Kyria la cosplay entraîna la corsetière dans le monde merveilleux du cosplay. Faisant du cosplay depuis maintenant 12 ans, Kyria se démarque par son énergie sur scène, ses chorégraphies et son souci du détail. La, sorce, la corsetière est, quant à elle, reconnue pour sa confection et sa précision lors de la récréation des costumes de personnages depuis maintenant plus de 10 ans. Featuring Kiro, Kiro Liara as Enge Ushiromiya and La Corsetière as Erika Furudo from Umineko no Naku Koroni. Welcome to the stage, The Frillies! right now. <laughs> and why would I do that? It is simply a toy after all. A piece of fabric that is worth absolutely nothing. He have a soul. He was created using the magic Maria so much cared about. He can even be more human than most of the people I know. <laughs> and you think you, Ange Ushiromiya, can do magic? I'll help you there. Magic does not exist. No one can come back from the dead. You'll always be alone. The only thing this thing can be is a toy. A toy for a little girl that had no friend. So had to invent them herself. Mary, I gave him life. He was always there to protect her. Magic is not real. You can't give life to some stupid blush toys. It's all in your head, Ange. Nothing is real. There's no such thing as talking blushes or magical butterflies. And most importantly, witches do not 
exists. In your heart. WCS next year. Je sais que vous êtes très, très, très impatients de savoir qui va représenter le Canada l'an prochain au WCS. Alors, je tiens à vous dire que les gagnants seront annoncés juste après les, euh, les prix de la mascarade à une heure dans la salle 510, donc vers environ 1h45 pour nous. Euh, donc, vous allez pouvoir venir nous rejoindre là-bas. Donc, les gars, the winners for the WCS Canadian Primaries will be announced during the masquerade at the WCS Awards around 1.45 p.m. in five tens. Now, before you all leave, like you're all doing for whatever reason, um, I just would like to invite back our teams of contestants to the stage. Congratulations. Our very first team, Arctic Silk. Look how beautiful they are! I'm squeezing! 